Good afternoon. The Chinese flagged research vessel spotted in the eastern section of the country was found to have turned off its tracking system, which may have been done to avoid detection. Armed Forces of the Philippines spokesperson Colonel Francel Margaret Padilla says they learned this during the maritime patrol conducted for research vessel Shen Kuo on Thursday, May 2. Before the vessel turned off its automatic identification system, Shen Kuo did not respond to the AFP's attempt for contact. Padilla points out Shen Kuo may not want to engage or it might actually be a vessel in distress. On Sunday, April 28, the AFP initially reported that Shen Kuo was spotted off of Viga Town in Catanduanes. Navy spokesperson for the West Philippine Sea Commodore Roy Vincent Trinidad also revealed that Shen Kuo was laying out an unidentified piece of equipment around 100 miles east of Catanduanes. Meanwhile, the three uh, Chinese research vessels recently spotted in a Yungin Shoal in the West Philippine Sea already left the country on Monday, April 29. Padilla says the three vessels in a Yungin Shoal were found to be just passing by. Trinidad previously said the presence of the research vessels in a Yungin Shoal was unprecedented. Trinidad also attributed the appearance of Beijing's research vessels to the ongoing Balikatan war games between Manila and Washington, which will last until May 10. Businessman Cedric Lee is now in the custody of the National Bureau of Investigation. NBI Director Menardo de Lemos confirms this on Thursday, May 2. The Taguig Regional Trial Court sentenced Lee, model Denise Cornejo, and two others of 40 to 40 years imprisonment after they were convicted for the serious illegal detention case filed by actor Vong Navarro. On January 22, 2014, Navarro filed a case against Lee and others but illegally detained him after Cornejo had accused him of raping her. Based on court manifestations, Navarro was not only severely mauled, but also threatened and intimidated with guns. The legal counsel of Bea Alonso says the actress is greatly devastated by what he called defamatory reports made against her as she filed the three separate li cyber libel suits against Christy Fermin, Oji Diaz and others. In a television interview on Thursday, May 2, Alonzo's lawyer, Joey Garcia, says the lodging of complaints against the involved personalities is the actress's way of asserting her rights. According to the lawyer, this is the first time Alonzo is filing complaints as she was affected by the statements made against her. Garcia says the actress hopes the involved in personalities receiving these cyber libel cases will be held responsible. Meanwhile, Diaz took to his Facebook account on th Thursday, May 2, to state that he doesn't want to be fake with his intentions in making sure that the case lodged by Alonzo against him were put to order. While citing his showbiz update online report, Diaz reiterates uh, what he claimed he and his co-anchors were always saying in their show, that Alonzo and her ex fiance Dominic Roque would end up together. Alonzo filed before the Quezon City Prosecutor's Office the cyber libel complaints, which include reports of her alleged failure to pay her taxes. Aside from Diaz and Fermin, their co-hosts in their respective showbiz programs and an unnamed netizen who claimed to know Alonzo personally were also the recipients of the complaints. Here's the latest roundup of today's top stories. Philippine military says Chinese research vessel in eastern Philippines turns off tracking system. Businessman Cedric Lee now in NBI custody after conviction for serious illegal detention case. And while motorcycles are barred, MMDA says bikes are still allowed to traverse Ed Sakamuning service road. These are the stories you need to know today. I'm Neil Mercado. Follow Inquire.net on Facebook, X, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and Reddit. For more stories, visit Inquire.net. Good afternoon.